Hey guys, it's Shannon. Welcome back to another Quick Tip Tuesday. So I actually had a viewer ask me, which sandpaper do you use for which project? So I'm gonna share with you two different ones that I use for my different projects. So a lot of times you see me using common board or pine in my projects and my builds, and especially making my wood signs. I use pine mostly for my wood projects. So here's a look at a pine board. It already comes pretty much nice and smooth for you, but there are imperfections, and it is not cut super nicely. So what I like to use to sand my pine or my common board, I actually like to use 80 grit sandpaper. It makes a nice even finish, but it also takes out those imperfections in the wood. Now the other grit sandpaper that I like to use the most is 60 grit sandpaper, and that's what I used on reclaimed wood, uh, pallet wood, old wood that's got a lot of imperfections. I will go over it with a 60 grit and it really gives it a nice finish. So it goes from looking old and rough to almost brand new that way. Then I go back over the wood with the 80 grit to kind of knock down some of the roughness that the 60 grit leaves behind. Now, if you want a really, really smooth surface, you can keep going in that direction. So say you use 60 grit on pallet wood and you want a really nice, smooth surface, you can go from 60 down to 80, down to 100, and then down to even 120 grit and give it an extremely smooth finish. Now, I do a lot of wood signs where I use stencils and I use paint to create a design on top and 80 grit is all I use. I don't go down, I just use 80 grit all the way across. So I hope that that answers your questions and gives you a little help when you go to sand your wood. So if you guys have any more questions for me for an upcoming Quick Tip Tuesday, leave those in the comments below. I would love to see what kind of questions you guys have for me. Make sure you give this video a thumbs up so I can keep bringing you this Quick Tip Tuesday series. Make sure you hit the subscribe button. I do DIY tutorials every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Also don't forget to hit the bell because then you'll get notified when my videos go live. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.